that the spotlight is on Ohio. Uh, we know that every four years that America is going to be watching Ohio. I'm from Texas. I wish that I could say that we're we're a swing state. We're not there yet, but Ohio is the ultimate swing state. And the polls are very clear that it's a tight race, that the Rust Belt is going to be important, uh, and Ohio is right at the top of the list. And so I've had the opportunity during this primary process to get out to Ohio, uh, to Hamilton County, Cuyahoga County, and I just wanted to encourage uh, every single person in Ohio to understand that there's a clear choice between Hillary Clinton, who wants to create more economic growth and knows how to do it, wants to broaden opportunity for all Americans, uh, and Donald Trump, who has said that he thinks that wages are too high uh, and doesn't have the first plan about how to actually create more jobs or opportunity in the United States. So, so what do you think? At the end of the day, was a disappointment for coming so close to the vice presidential pick and not getting it? Well, you know, I would be lying if I said there was no disappointment. Of course, there's a little bit of disappointment, but uh, I'm 41, and uh, God willing, I'm going to have a lot of years in front of me. And I got into public service because I feel uh, I felt very blessed with opportunity in my life, and I wanted to find a way to create more opportunity like that for other people. And so, whether I'm in the private sector or the public sector, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, Mr. Secretary, I asked Sherrod Brown earlier today this question. I'm going to ask you. This is supposed to be Unity Week uh, for Democrats here in Philadelphia. What's your message to the Bernie uh, uh, delegates who walked out last night at roll call? How do you bring them back to support uh, Mrs. Clinton? Yeah, well, first I'm answering my personal capacity, not my official one. Um, I've been very impressed with Senator Sanders. Uh, he has gone out of his way, including yesterday, uh, in putting Secretary Clinton's name into nomination. He's gone out of his way to bring unity to this party. Uh, Michelle Obama did a great job of, of helping to unify the party a couple nights ago. So you can see that, that each day the Democratic Party seems to be, be getting more unified. And I'm confident that when we get into November, we're going to have a very unified Democratic why do you think Donald Trump thinks that the Rust Belt states will, his message will resonate here uh, in Ohio or in, in Philadelphia? Well, uh, you know, you'd have to ask Donald Trump, uh, but what I do know is that Secretary Clinton has been very strong on issues of trade. Uh, she's been strong on uh, how we're going to create economic growth. Uh, she has spent time in Ohio. She's not new uh, to the issues of Ohioans. She understands them very clearly. Uh, there was a strong track record during Bill Clinton's presidency of creating jobs and opportunity, including in Ohio, uh, and I believe that the choice is very clear that Secretary Clinton is the better candidate. Some of Donald Trump's housing um, endeavors have been have been called discriminatory. In your official capacity, what concerns you about a Trump presidency in that capacity? Well, I can't answer it. I'm, I'm here in my political capacity, so I'll, I'll stick to that. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you.